Hi, this is Rolf from Tesla Owners US, and here is Kevin, and it's my son. <laughs> and he's doing, he's being funny. So we parked here in a parking garage at Fenway Park. This is in Boston, and Fenway Park is baseball, because it's one of the old baseball stadiums. What do I see here? There's a supercharger in the back, or actually an urban charger. So, and the next comes at Fenway Park. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life In the stadium, Fenway Park One of the oldest stadiums in the US And it uh, looks like Corona is over Everything is a lot of things are made with steel. So let me get you a, a view when I'm going around. The game is already going. Well, that stadium is directly at the highway. I'm gonna put a picture in there. To show you where it is. And the weather is holding. So I think it's the second inning now. Oh, there was a ball coming very wide here. Yeah. So he caught it, that means he's out. Let's find out. 
right, the next day after the baseball event and we are in New England and New England, as of the name said, is not much but different than England. It's raining. So it's raining again here and we want to do the history tour today and basically it's raining but we have an umbrella and we try to do our best we're going now Go south past stop sign. towards the next Boston. One, turn right. So, and we're gonna see that soon. It's a little raining today. We are here at the entrance and the door is locked at Bunker Hills. And let me try to catch you the obelisk. There's another obelisk there. Yeah, there it is. And that obelisk is built uh, about 10 years from 18... 37 or uh, something 34 to 1843. It's probably a, a monument uh, in remembrance of that day. Actually, the British won this one. They conquered that hill because there is, was a, a battery artillery or a, an artillery uh, station here and they uh, pounded always on the ships when they are coming in overseeing the whole uh, harbor and that's why they could not uh, uh, conquer that first but they later did but uh, it cost them the half of the 2700 men I think. Okay, then verlassen wir dann den Bunker Hill hier und gehen zur USS Constitution als nächstes. So this is Boston Harbor and the USS Constitution Museum is here behind and then the others and here is actually where all of the ships are launching from and here the, behind it's a rainy day today but it's the USS Constitution where we're going now the ship itself it's Constitution on a rainy day it's a frigate frigate how many cannons? 32? you said something like that right? yeah and it's just renovated 2013 or 2014. Okay, here we go. Here is this constitution. And it still belongs to the Navy. That ship was built in uh, 1779, right? Yeah. Yeah, so 1796. 1796? Yeah. And 32 guns above and below deck, right? Yeah. And it's made from oak, fir and white oak. And the nickname is Old Ironside because at the first battle the cannon balls of the British bounced off and it's actually proven with it just a smaller caliber that this is the ca that is the case it's really true that this type of live oak or white oak is and the combination of that is that bouncing the cannonballs off and that's saving the ship whereby the other ships sunk pretty fast so is there maybe there's a tour under deck what we're trying to do now under deck. Yeah. 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 So that must be very loud here for those old cannons and to fire them off. And this seems to be for the powder or for the cannonballs. And there are some possibilities to do that. Wow. So can you step over this? can step over this. Yeah? yeah. Oh. And here's the other side. 
Okay, we can go another level deeper from here. Yeah. And here are the marine soldiers are cleaning that. Thank you. Captain's quarter, and there is even a cannon here <laughs> for himself. And then here is probably the officer table where they have they used to eat. And then there is the usually it's in the back, Captain's quarter, right? Yeah, or where the officer is there. There's a little a nice bedroom, bed there as well. I'm jumping in for first officer. Yeah. And then here, all of the officers here who commanded the ship. Before. Okay, another level down from here. Oops, that was very close. It's not built for tall people. I think the average people there are five seven. You are know, over six. Oh, that's nice. Here is where the team and the crew is sleeping. You, do you want to sleep here? We are enjoying our break in the hammock. <laughs> <laughs> and we need a, a bottle of rum. A bottle of rum. <laughs> get any lower, but there are two more decks below this one. And they store there all different kinds of stuff, food, uh, cannonballs, shots, weapons. But now we're going up and going out from here. And as it is, it's nothing for tall people. Wollen wir gleich ganz hochgehen? Hmm. Let's go out. My constitution. Until the next time. Here is the destroyer, USS Cousin Yong. And it looks like we can visit that and look at it. Oh, we hope so. Because we could not see a ship in life, we have to see a Lego version of that now here. That's from the Legoland Boston Center. Well, this is the Freedom Trail and then how it looks like is like this. Here, those stones. And that is actually here behind us, the, uh, wait a second, the Capitol Building of Massachusetts State House. Basically, this one is gold and I haven't seen anyone with a gold one. So they must have had a lot of money to make that gold, <laughs> probably. So, yeah, but it's all locked and it's closed. It's only public welcome between Monday and Friday and it's today, holiday weekend. Okay, go. We are at the next location. That is, here is buried Paul Rivera. Uh, so what did the guy do? Actually, he was riding 30 miles with a horse because he was the first guy who saw that the British is coming and then warned the uh, Washington army that hey the British are coming and uh, his horse was probably very tired and he also but he is buried at this grave, uh, graveyard the Granary Bar Growing Ground okay that's uh, one of the part of the Freedom Trail so we are here at Luke Lobster and we are taking or eating a lobster roll which is very famous for New England states and you should try one. Uh, it is sustainable grown or uh, sustainable seafood and traceable. Let's try that. So if you see this and how busy it is, there's all free charging here for electric cars. But if you don't electric, you can't free charge here. And then you have to drive around to get a parking spot. Quite some dump. Okay guys, ready for the game? Let's do this! Let's do that! That is Brooklyn against Boston. Are they called Brooklyn? Brooklyn? Brooklyn Celtics, yeah. Brooklyn. Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn Nets against Boston. 
Boston Celtics. Here we go. Big stadium. Oh, it's filling up. Five minutes to go. And uh, switch you around. Seems to be uh, Corona is over. Also here. So that was the weekend in Boston for a nice tour to the historical Boston and two games. And now we are going back electric and with a train station here at the train station South Boston train station Amtrak. And it takes actually over four hours and these are only 208 miles to get back here. The trains are a little bit slower than in Europe here or quite some slower. And we're waiting for the train and then we say goodbye. Thank you for Kevin. Thank you. Uh, it was a good time. We had a good time. We uh, One game won, one game lost. Okay. Uh, but they have another chance. And we we'll see you next time. Thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and another history tour the next time. This time was Boston. Maybe you see what the next city is. Bye bye. Cheers. That looks like the train is on time. Also the Jungs sind hier on time. 39 gerade, 40 soll er abfahren. Wollen wir mal sehen. Okay, alles grün. Auf geht's. 40, genau.